Hey guys, it's Matt 534 Dog, and welcome to Let's Play Hacks. Yeah, Hacks. It is a total conversion developed by the now defunct Banjo Software, and at one point it was actually sold commercially to commercial and critical, well not, and critical failure. Um, then, uh, they fixed it, and it still sold bad. But now, Nostromo, the only remaining member who gives a shit about this game, apparently, uh, brought Hacks back for free and in an updated version along with uh, in Zazer, that guy from Doom World. I don't know how it's pronounced. It's like X-A-S-E-R. But uh, they brought it back, and this is the 1.2 version, as you can see in the bottom left. And... It is for free from the Hacks website, which I will link into the description of every uh, video. And basically what Hacks is, it is a completely different game from Doom aside from the mechanics and weapons, which are usually the same, and some of the enemies, but... <coughs> Excuse me. As you will see currently, there are some still still some similarities to Doom, but for the most part, almost everything's changed. So let's dive right in. We're going to be playing on... Please don't shoot. Ah, I need health. Let's rip them apart. I am immortal and insanity. We're going to be playing on I am immortal. Alright, so uh, this is Hacks. I want to take care of all these guys on the ground first. Right now what you're holding is the Hax Pistol. Uh, it's it's just called the Pistol, but I like to call it the Hax Pistol to differentiate it. It's basically a double-barreled pistol. It fires two shots every time you pull the trigger. And uh, it's actually semi-powerful. It just wastes ammo a lot. It, you see that red dot in the desk there? Uh, you press that red dot and you lower special things in the room, which can often lead to secret areas. That wasn't necessarily a secret per se, but nonetheless, it gives you some Kevlar to protect yourself. Actually, I think you start out with 100 armor. It's strange. Where's the... There he is. Let's take care of this guy. And this is the first level, Gen M Corp. Uh, it's actually kind of hard, to be honest. Um, but it doesn't... Uh, those guys are buzzers. They float in the air, and when you shoot them down, they explode. So, w watch out for those. Uh, when you walk in here, there'll be a trap. These guys are thugs, by the way. These, the weakest enemies in the game, by far. Next to the invisible buzzers. By, by the way, yes, there are invisible buzzers. See, as you can see, the explosion does ca cause a lot of damage. Uh, glass is breakable, but if you stand too close to it, it might hurt you, so I recommend you don't do that. <laughs> what was I saying? I was going to say something. I was going to say something about something about something. But I seem to forget it. Uh, something about Kevlar. Anyways, so this is the taser, the weapon we are holding right now. Before we go there, I want to take care of a few enemies behind here. Right off the get-go, you can see that the level design is very much more realistic than in uh, Doom. Uh, the, instead of uh, key, different colored keys, you get a passcode. You get passcodes, passwords, and Z keys. I'll pretty much do the same function, but nonetheless, it's a bit creative. Also, these elevators are cool. If you can look up and down, you see that these textures, the phone textures, do repeat vertically. That's neither here nor there. I want to take care of these guys. And start moving up. Uh, Gen Amp Corp is the evil corporation that is spawning these mutants that have started taking over the world and has created the mysterious and rogue AI genie which is also taking over the world maybe even by creating these uh, mutants 
But yes, buzzers do come in an invisible variety, so watch for those. Uh, they also die pretty easily, so if you accidentally shoot one in your face, you're dead. As you can see, glass is very much breakable. I think I already mentioned that, but I just want to mention it again. Which is good for, uh... Ow. See? It hurts you. Also, some of the dis environments are destructible. This is the kick. The karate kick. Which is actually explaining the story as you're getting a karate kick. Uh, but as you can see, the level design is very much more realistic than in Doom. Huh. I, I don't see the point of this room. There, there didn't seem to be anything in it. I guess just more enemies, or... I don't know. But, basically, you want to do what I just did all the way up to uh, leading to this point. It's pretty straightforward up to this point. Basically, you got to hit that switch. When you walk into this room, this door behind you will open, so watch out for any demon or uh, not demons, mutants that will pour out. I'm actually re-recording this map because the original recording got all messed up, so hopefully this one doesn't either. Uh, hit this desk switch, see the red dot again? Hit it for a secret and some health. Always, when you see a desk in a stage, always look out for the red dot. See? Alright, come in here. Also, by the way, I, for I forgot to finish the sentence. This weapon right here that we're holding, this is the taser. It's basically a shotgun, but wow. no, cool, because it's a fucking taser. I mean, hell, if tasers in real life acted this way, man, the police force would be kicking ass and taking names. Usually for, uh, racist purposes. At least here in America, unfortunately. But not, that's neither here nor there, and I don't want to discuss politics or police forces being terrible over here. Or racist. See, what we picked up there that was a Berserk pack was actually 007 Microtel. Like I said, like I just said, it is basically a Berserk pack. Well, the sensor kick is much faster and stronger. It is much more useful. Oh my god, I need health. Luckily, there's this desk switch right here with access to free health. We can't get out of this room because we need the passcode that's in there. Okay. Uh, you can stand in here, but no, nothing there. Also, take note of these computer textures. Genie. That is the AI that's presumably this. That is uh, running the world right now, I believe. It's going on a rampage. Those robots we were fighting, they're called androids. And all the uh, mechanical enemies in this game have these nice little posters up so that they can at least give you some kind of idea of what they are. So these are androids. They're, basic they're basically shotgun guys, so watch out for them. Buzzers, as I mentioned before, fly and explode. If you don't kill them before they get to you, they'll start, like, scratching you or attacking you somehow. I believe the only two enemies that can be jibbed in this game are the, uh, androids and the thugs. But yeah, I have to re I've had to re-record this, so... Naturally, uh, my mood is going to be different from now. Because now I've actually had time to think about what I'm going to say before I record it. So, press the switch over here to uh, come get those. Unfortunately, I didn't mean to use them. But, ugh. God. I did not mean to to grab the boots. This sucks.
Basically, what I wanted to do was come up here and grab some health. Health that was back here. Thank you. Because the next part of this level is actually really difficult. I know what you're thinking. Matthew, you're a doom god. How could you find that difficult? Well, let me show you. By getting my ass down there. This elevator. See? As you saw there, textures tile vertically. Ah, it's running out, running out. Damn it. Now we gotta high knee it through like cyber shit there. <sighs> Move it. Out of my way. Well, that health was absolutely for nothing. But hey, we couldn't move on without it. Actually, we could, but you know. At least now we have a bit more health than we did going in. By the way, uh, this is the hard part. By, by far. You do not know the horrors that this level contains. This level is probably the most off-putting first level in history. Purely because of the difficulty. Ow! There are so many damn buzzers everywhere. It's just such a bitch to do this. Move it. That, what you just saw there, them exploding. It. Oh, look at that. 28 health again. That's their jib animation. Boy, this is getting off to a great start. Actually, not really since I started it already, but you know what I damn well mean. Ow, what the... See how weak those enemies are? I think they're even weaker than the uh, thugs, which are supposed to be just zombie men, basically. They shoot you dead at the first chance. Fucking 28 again. You know what? No, we're not gonna stand for this shit. Another 28. There we go. F Fuck! God fucking damn this shit. Sorry, I'm in a bad mood today, contrary to what you might be thinking. I don't want your fucking... God. If only I didn't grab those boots before I went in here like a dumbass, we wouldn't be having this issue. Motherfucker! Fuck this game, it sucks. I was about to say I really liked it, but you know, then this. Motherfuck! Oh, there we go. We got a little bit more health. Save like every few seconds. That way you don't die. That is horrifying. This scene right there horrified me. That's all I have to say about it. I'm not in the mood to talk. I'm gonna kick some ass and take some names right now. So sit back and enjoy the gameplay. God, my back hurts. I feel like an old person. Now, this right here is the reason that this first level is probably, or is extremely off-putting. It is so damn difficult. Basically, you're just stuck in this hole making hot shots the whole time. Come on. There we go. There we go. Sorry about my outbreak. 
I've just been frustrated. See, I didn't get enough sleep last night, so... Probably why I'm in s s somewhat of a good mood, because when I'm awake... Well, when I'm super awake, I'm in a good mood, but... Usually when I'm tired, I'm in a bad mood, but when I'm super tired, I'm in a good mood for some reason. I don't know, it's complicated. Nonetheless, I hope you're enjoying this video, because I'm working hard not to die here. Okay, I think that's everything. One buzzer. One buzzer! I knew that was gonna happen. Oh my god. Every other buzzer dies in one damn taser blast. No, I heard that buzzer. I heard you. Die. Press the switch, lower this. Lower the lift. little textures here. Buzzers! Oh, by the way, I've been calling the androids buzzers. So, those walking robots, those are androids. My bad. Ow. You do not want to fall into these lava Pools. Not really the best thing you could do at all. Oh god. There we go. Okay, now that we've took care of some of those buzzers that are flying around. Alright. Get up on here. I don't believe there's a secret anywhere here. Jump on this ledge. Spider-Man, your way over here. Which I can't move. Wait, what? Ugh. I guess I have to do... What? Okay. I like to have it on Doom Strict. Since it is intended for doom, but ah, uh, whatever. As long as I don't get in my way, they got in my way. I guess we're sticking it to default. See you doom. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention in my original run of this. The music in this game kicks terrible. I mean, kicks so much ass. It is badass. Especially this first level music. While it's not my favorite track in the game, it goes right up there. It is freaking kick ass. Just listen to that guitar. It's wailing throughout the whole thing and it sounds awesome. You cannot go wrong with this track. And it loops together just so perfectly. I'm actually going to let you listen to it right here. See what I mean? Hold on. Are you seeing what I'm meaning? Isn't that track just amazingly awesome? Alright, kick the switch. After this, the level gets easy though. The level's now easy. So, you have nothing to worry about. Be sure to stock up on 9mm ammo. And, uh... So come down here, jump over here, jump down in there for a, what is that called, centrophenoxide, centrophenoxime, I don't know what any of that means, but if I did, then I'm gonna guess that it's a pretty good thing, actually it's just a uh, supercharger. Oh, see what I mean by invisible buzzers? 
They got in my way right there and they almost blew the hell out of me. See this trip line? You're gonna have to cross it. Since you can't jump over it, duh. God. Oh god. Okay, where is it? Alright. Uh, that's over with. Aww. So I press that switch to open the door back here. Lower this neato looking lift. By the way, I'm playing this in Z Doom. If you haven't guessed, because uh, it works the best with this. By the way, this, uh, I forgot to mention, this game is actually a standalone iWOD, so. You don't have to have Doom 2 to play it, so. It can actually be kind of good to introduce somebody to the gameplay and style of Doom. Let them take it. Let them take out as much of your health as they can. It's not like it matters. There's a double of seven micro over there. You know, unless they actually kill you, then that'd be bad. All right. Ooh. Sneaky, sneaky. One more hit could kill me. Didn't. Neato. All right. Where is it? Oh, there it is. And we're better again. Now let's get on the subway train and uh, head to the next level, Tunnel Town. Thoughts on the first level? Great music. Kick-ass opening. Kick-ass ending. Extremely fucking hard. By the way, this is one of the best subways I've ever seen. Accomplished. So, uh, yeah. This has been map 1, and map 2 will be uploaded after this, but it has already been pre-recorded, and then I will keep recording from there. But thoughts on the first level? Uh, great music, again. Great gameplay, except for the middle part, when you first get to the underground sewer kind of portion. Because that's too damn hard. And don't be like me and accidentally waste those boots, because... It will make things so much easier if you got the health first, and then went for the boots. So, <laughs> I'm sorry about my outbreak there. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, uh, one more thing I would like to mention. The music in this game is really weird. Really good, but still extremely freaking weird. Like, they have banjos and this jazz organ in the first level music, you have a banjo and what sounds like a guitar, some kind of wind instrument, I'm not even sure what that is, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next level, Tunnel Town, uh, this has been Matt534Dog and I will see you guys then.